Here we have a Gentoo Linux system running a Zen kernel. Uh, we can see the networking configuration for this particular system. We have a static IP address set up on the, the first interface for administrative uh, purposes. And the second interface is set up as a bridge interface to use with the Zen uh, hypervisor to provide virtual networking for the virtual machines. Uh, we can see there's no IP address set up for that second bridge interface. On the first virtual machine, uh, which is a Kali Linux system, we have 10.103.64.68 set up as the IP address and .69 set up on the second Kali system. The first Kali system is going to be used um, as the target system to just surf the web. In the second system, we're running up Wireshark uh, to view the traffic over the virtual network. You can see right now on Wireshark, we're just seeing basic broadcast traffic going over that virtual switch. But we begin to run a MAC flooding attack on that system, and we can start to see these malformed packets being generated in Wireshark um, going across the network, just to arbitrary destinations. So if we go ahead and apply an HTTP filter um, on this system, uh, we're going to try to see if we can sniff the, the traffic coming from that target virtual machine. So over on the target virtual machine, while we still have the MAC flooding attack running on the attacking machine, um, we're going to see if we can just surf the web and see if any of that traffic appears over in Wireshark on the attacking machine. So now we're just surfing the internet right now, just, just looking at um, unencrypted web pages to see if we can see any of that traffic showing up in Wireshark. And as we can see, nothing is actually showing up over there um, in the Wireshark window, signifying that we are unable to actually sniff the traffic over the bridged interface.